Estimate of Earthwork for Roads At the end of this lesson, you will be able to Explain the estimation of various quantities of earthwork for road construction. Most of us tend to observe the things that go on around us. Especially, one might often notice construction works of building or roads from time to time. If you have observed any road construction, you would have seen men digging the ground, filling the pits with soil and levelling the ground. Do you know how they handle the correct amount of soil in such works? Very simple. They determine the quantity of earthwork required beforehand and only after that they start digging, filling and levelling. It's usually determined by the engineers. In the nearby future, we all are going to become an engineer. So, let us explore in detail the estimation of earthwork in road construction. The road construction work involves excavating and levelling of ground surface which includes the processing of huge amount of soil. This cutting and filling of the earthwork is carried out with respect to the formation line. This formation line is the imaginary line drawn to level the ground. Here, the heap portion is known as banking while the lower portion is known as cutting. Cutting is the process of excavating the earth from a site to achieve the required formation level. Filling is the process of moving and leveling the excavated earth to a site to achieve the required formation level. This quantity of earth work is calculated either manually or using computer applications. In the manual method, the quantity of earthwork to be excavated is calculated using the following formula. Generally, the excavation work of a road's cross section is in the form of a trapezium. Therefore, the quantity or the volume of the earthwork is equal to the sectional area into length. The sectional area is calculated by adding the area of the central rectangular portion and the area of the two side triangular portions of the trapezium. This can be expressed as cross sectional area is equal to B into D plus 2 into half SD into D that is equal to B into D plus SD square. Usually, the ratio of the side slopes of the road's horizontal is to vertical is represented by S is to 1, where for one vertical, the horizontal will be S and for D vertical, the horizontal will be SD. Therefore, the quantity will be B into D plus SD square into capital L. In the longitudinal slope of the ground, the height of the bank or the depth of the cutting is unequal at both the ends of the section. The depth of the two sides, that is D1 and D2, is added and divided by 2 to get the mean height. Using these values, the cross-sectional area of the trapezium is calculated. The cross-sectional area is also calculated separately at varying depths and the mean sectional area is computed at last. This sectional area is multiplied with the length to get the quantity. Lead and Lift Lead is the horizontal straight distance through which the earth is carried from one place to another, that is, from the source to the place of spreading. Simply, the center to center distance measured from the source to the place of spreading is known as lead. Usually, the unit of lead is taken as 50 meters for a distance that ranges up to 500 meters and the earthwork is measured as a separate item of work in two stages. Stage 1 0 meter to a distance not exceeding 250 meters. Stage 2 
250 meters to a distance not exceeding 500 meter. For a distance of 500 meters to 5 kilometers, the unit of lead is taken as 500 meters and the item of work is measured separately in different stages as follows. Stage 1 500 meters to a distance not exceeding 1000 meters. Stage 2 1000 meters to 1500 meters. Stage 3 1500 meters to 2000 meters. When the lead exceeds 5 kilometers, the units are measured in 1 kilometer. In other cases, half kilometer is taken. The items of work include the loading and unloading of earth. In case of consolidated soil, it is necessary to re-handle the soil. Also, their heaps need separate measurements. In the field, for the measurement of lead, the area to be excavated and filled is divided into suitable blocks and the centre-to-centre -center distance of each block is taken as the lead. Lift is the vertical straight depth that is to be excavated along the formation line. Preferably, it is measured from the ground level. The item of earthwork for different types of soil includes the excavation of up to 1.5 meter depth below the ground level and filling of the excavated material on the ground. In special conditions like overdumping of the soil on river banks, the lift level shall be the difference in the level between the center of gravity of the excavated earth and the top of the bank. Generally, the earthwork in the road is calculated along the fixed formation line by considering the longitudinal and cross section of the ground. Also, the formation line is fixed by considering the flood level, gradient, height of the bank, depth of the cutting, etc. In plains, there is no cross slope as the ground is flat. Here, the earthwork is calculated by dividing the length into two consecutive stations of longitudinal sections until the entire length is covered. In a hilly country, roads are in both the banking and cutting. The excavated earth from the cutting is used for banking purposes within the economic limits. Using the longitudinal section and formation line, the height of the bank and depth of the cutting is calculated. This difference in the road level of the ground and formation line gives the height and depth of the excavation. The road level of the ground is generally taken by leveling every 30 meters along the center line of the road. When the ground level is even, the leveling is taken from 40 to 50 meters and sometimes it can go up to 100 meters. When the ground level is uneven, the leveling is taken as 20 meters or less than 20 meters depending on the nature of the ground. Mostly, the estimation of the road is calculated in kilometers. Scale Generally, while plotting the longitudinal section with a horizontal scale, 1 cm is equal to 10 meters to 30 meters and in the vertical scale, 1 cm is equal to 1 meter to 5 meters. Summary Let us summarize what we have learnt so far. Road constructions involve the processing of huge amount of soil. The quantity of earthwork is calculated by multiplying the sectional area with the length. Generally, the earthwork in the road is calculated along the fixed formation line by considering the longitudinal and cross-section of the ground.